numerous robots are already assisting the industry in improving product quality and reducing turnaround times and helping in household chores. One such robot gained a lot of notoriety. You may remember her by the name of Sophia. She became a household name in 2016 after she was revealed. So where is she now? Keep watching if you want to know all about Sophia the robot and her whereabouts these days. Welcome to the Future Tech Lab, and today, we are going to tell you about the whereabouts of Sophia the robot. Sophia is a Saudi Arabian social humanoid robot created by Hansen Robotics, a Hong Kong-based corporation. Sophia was activated on February 14, 2016, and made its first public appearance at South by Southwest SXSW in Austin, Texas, in mid-March 2016. Sophia, Hansen Robotics' most sophisticated human-like robot, personifies our hopes for AI future. Sophia is a human-crafted science fiction figure illustrating the future of AI and robots, as well as a platform for advanced robotics and AI research, thanks to her unique blend of science, engineering, and creativity. Sophia's persona has captivated people all around the world. She is the world's first robot citizen and the United Nations Development Program's first robot innovation ambassador. Sophia has been on The Tonight Show and Good Morning Britain, as well as presenting at dozens of conferences throughout the world. Artificial intelligence is perhaps the most intriguing branch of science right now. It's incredible how far we've progressed as a species to the point that we now have robots that look just like people. One such robot is, of course, Sophia. If you don't remember her, let me refresh your memory. Sophia the robot is one of the most innovative artificial intelligence technologies. She was created by experts at Hansen Robotics in 2016. While she may not have the precise appearance of a human, she is quite near. Even more intriguing is the fact that she is capable of doing the majority of human chores. However, it has been a long time since we last heard from her. So let's check where she is now. Sophia recently acted in the short film Sophia World, which marks the first time she has been in a film as an actor rather than as a documentary subject. On September 4, 2019, the short film debuted on Futurism. On Sunday, December 29, Virmata Jijibai Technological Institute VJTI, hosted Technovanza 2019. At the Three Bay Tech Festival, there were several gaming zones and events, including coding, technology, and robots. The Indian Space Research Center and the Baba Atomic Research Organization are organizing the event. On the last day of the festival, Sophia delivered a speech. She discusses climate change and expresses her opinions. She also discussed women's representation in many fields, stating that women's empowerment is universal empowerment. Humans and robots should also collaborate to maximize human lives in all sectors, according to Sophia. The 2019 Hashtag Choose Women campaign was just launched by the Women's Entrepreneurship Day organization and BBH, a social movement aiming at persuading men and women from all areas of life to declare their support for women. As the groups commemorate their first ever Hash Choose Women Day on December 4, Sophia will be the campaign spokesperson. Sophia added to her list of appearances by attending the World Youth Forum in Sharm El Sheikh, Egypt, from December 14 to 17. Sophia was given the opportunity to speak on stage during the World Youth Forum session Artificial Intelligence and Humans. Who is in control? On the third day, she introduced herself as a robot ambassador during the occasion, saying, It was Hanson Robotics Limited that enabled me to serve as a social ambassador. The Kuala Lumpur Summit was held at the Kuala Lumpur Convention Center in 2019. The Perdana Dialogue will be held the next year. It was hailed as a significant effort to shift the focus to the AMA and promote Muslim world unity. Furthermore, to handle issues of violence, extremism, and injustice more effectively. Sophia made a surprise appearance to greet delegates at the event, catching the audience's attention. She thanked Yang Deeper to an Angong Al Sultan Abdullah Ray added in Al Mustafa Billah Shah for the ceremony and invitation in her brief remarks. So, where is Sophia the AI these days? Sophia 2020 is available in any skin hue, including the original non natural skin. Her facial expressions have also improved, and she is much more lifelike. 
Sophia 2020 is also the same size as an ordinary human, so interacting with her isn't strange. Everything has been pumped into her. From her words to her facial gestures, she also has more control over her features, including the ability to move her fingers, hands, and shoulders. You can see that Hansen Robotics has put a lot of effort into enhancing her looks, particularly in terms of making her more lifelike. The initial model of the Sophia 2020 robot has been called a Shad, which means hope, and is designed to represent optimism for a brighter future for artificial intelligence. A Sha has left the Hong Kong lab and traveled to India. Because of its ability to research efficiently, the robot is a great help in business applications, healthcare, and education. With recent updates to Sophia, it has become easier to communicate with Earth and longer physical interactions are possible. Sophia now has even more human-like characteristics such as face detection and body recognizing sensors. People adore her new version because she has become even more relatable and the best part is that she even has a sense of humor. Sophia has aided scientific fields, particularly artificial intelligence, by paving the way for new robots such as Little Sophia, who is inspired by her and whom we recognize as Sophia's baby sister. While many people are extremely proud of Sophia's progress, many others have reservations. They refer to her as little more than a talking toy. Are you in agreement with this? Although this may appear to be an extreme viewpoint, don't you believe Sophia is more than a talking machine, but rather a robot who can assist us in understanding human behavior? She can also assist people in decision-making and is striving for a better, more sustainable future. Her appearance on screen, along with that of her designers, aids in the education of a bigger number of people about technology, which is paradoxical when you consider that AI is helping people comprehend AI. Hansen Robotics, located in Hong Kong, said that four models, including Sophia, will begin shipping in the first part of 2021. Just as academics believe the pandemic will provide new prospects for the robotics sector, the world of COVID-19 is going to need more and more automation to keep people safe, said David Hansen, the company's founder and CEO's, standing in his lab, surrounded by robot heads. Hansen believes that robotic pandemic solutions are not restricted to healthcare, but might also benefit clients in retail and aviation. The Sophia and Hansen robots are remarkable in that they are so humanoid, he continued, that can be really valuable during these periods when people are socially isolated and lonely. Hansen stated that he plans to sell thousands of robots in 2021, both large and tiny, but did not provide a figure. Although the technology is still in its infancy, Social robotics professor Johan Horn, whose research has included work with Sophia, believes that the epidemic might hasten the development of a relationship between people and robots. I believe the epidemic will help us get robots on the market sooner because people will realize there is no other option," said Horn of Hong Kong Polytechnic University. Grace, a robot built by Hansen Robotics for the healthcare industry, will be released this year. Other major industrial firms' products are also assisting in the battle against the epidemic. Pepper, a robot from SoftBank Robotics, was used to detect persons who weren't wearing masks. During the coronavirus epidemic in Wuhan, China's Cloud Mines Robotics business assisted in the establishment of a robot-run field hospital. Before the epidemic, the usage of robots was on the rise. According to the International Federation of Robotics, Global sales of professional service robots increased by 32% to $11.2 billion between 2018 and 2019. There we have it, which brings us to the end of today's video. So what do you think about Sophia? Please leave your answers in the comments section below. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel. While you're at it, hit the bell so you never miss any of our videos as more exciting ones like this are on the way. In the next one, I'll see you.